Hello and welcome to the 719 report for today, February 17th, 2022. The 719 report is brought to you by the Hayes Property Group of Colorado Springs. Our contact information is listed below. We are here for all of your real estate needs from Castle Rock all the way down to Pablo. Today we're going to focus in on El Paso County and look at what is available um, on the real estate market. There are currently 380 properties listed as active in the uh, PPAR MLS system. That's an increase of 24 from yesterday, up from 356. So of all that 380, there's six new listings and 38 that have been on the market for one day. So and uh, coming soon, there are 47 properties coming within the next seven days. So I I do believe that uh, a Many of those will be on the market tomorrow and Saturday. So looking at the, at the uh, price breakdown, there's one property under $100,000. There's 22 between $100,000 and $300,000. 191 from $301,000 to six hundred. There are 78 properties from $600,000, $601,000 to $900,000. And 88 properties over $900,000. What we'll do? is we will scroll through the MLS system. I can't show you any individual properties, but all the information, uh, the basic information is listed on the screen. And as I scroll through, if you see a property you like or you're interested in, in your price range, pause the video, write down the MLS number, then give me a call. Call me at 719-675-2000 and we can talk about that property. I can give you more information. And if you're interested, we'll get you a showing. Let's jump into it and take a look at what we have available today. Here is our MLS listings for today, February 17th. And we'll start off with the list filtered from lowest uh, price. And then towards the end, we'll get to the higher price range. So if you see a red arrow, that means the price has gone down. And if you see a, a greenish blue arrow pointing up, it means been, there's been a cost increase. The far right hand column is the days on the market and over on the left is the MLS number followed by its status. So these all will say active because these are all active. It's been, I filtered the list out so there's no, no properties that have an offer pending at least as far as the realtor has updated the MLS system. Next we have the address, then the zip code, the subdivision area, the school district, and then we get in the floor plans, the bed, how many, how many beds, how many bathrooms and garages, garage, uh, parking spaces. So, all right, starting off that first one's at 69,000. It's, it's a ranch and it's been on the market for just a couple of days. So, all right, we're already going from the 200,000s into the 300. That one, it's exactly 300,000. It has been on the market for 174 days, just to help you understand the system there, if you didn't under, understand what I was saying before. All right, we're just about crossing into the 400 price range. There we go. And you'll see in this area, you'll see a lot of two, three bedrooms. And the higher up we get, uh, the more bedrooms you will find. We're in at the 450 price range on this page. That first one listed has five bedrooms. Something to keep in mind as you're looking at houses, if, it, if it's an older home, um, built before 1978, make sure you, you, you talk about your, talk to your realtor about uh, lead paint and uh, get, make sure you have that lead paint disclosure so you understand what happens with uh, the risks of a property with lead-based paint. It's not necessarily going to, well, let your realtor uh, discuss those spe specifically with you. We'll do another video on lead-based paint uh, as a review or an educational video in the near future. Now we're here at the uh, 578,000 price range. And we're scrolling up here and right in the middle of the page there, we're at 600. And we're crossing over to 700,000 price range there. So the bulk of the properties are, are between 301 and 600,000 as there's almost 200 in that price range, 191 today. So there are more properties coming on the market. Uh, 
each day this week it's been increasing, uh, which is a good thing. As a buyer, you, you want to have as much opportunity as possible. So there are quite a few um, going under contract each day as well. So just be aware that it, it still sellers are kind of it's kind of a seller's market, but uh, you while it, there's still some inventory, well there's plenty of inventory, 380 properties. Um, there's quite a bit of competition out, out there for, for properties. So now we're up at the 1.8 million. All right, so there's our, our list of scrolling through the MLS system. Let's take a look at the map. Here's the map of El Paso County properties for sale. Uh, listed in the MLS system. There are no for sale by owners here on our report. I didn't mention that earlier. Um, they don't get listed in the MLS system unless it's a real estate agent. So um, pretty evenly distributed around town. There happens there's a little line right here where there's nothing for sale, but um, pretty well um, a good distribution of properties all throughout town. Uh, so if there's any particular area you're interested in, in looking at, give me a call and we'll get you a showing. We'll, we'll find you a property in the area you're looking, you're looking for. Let's take a look at the properties coming soon, uh, in the next seven days or so. These are, they're 47 and uh, have the list sorted by price once again. Now these, these should be coming in the next couple days. I would suspect by, by Sunday, most of these will be on the market. And uh, you, you could get a showing. So feel free to reach out and call me, and we'll get you in to see these on the first day possible. Here is the map of where these coming soon properties are. So there's one way out here, kind, kind of in the middle of no place. Um, I'd say it's about a half hour, 40 minute drive, if not longer. Depends if that's a gravel road or a paved road, probably. Um, on how long it would take to come into the springs. So right up here, this is a good area. If, you, if you're moving to Peterson Air Force Base or if you're coming out towards Shriver, uh, this would be close. Uh, it's not that bad of a commute, in my personal opinion, from, from uh, well, pretty much anywhere in town down to Fort Carson. Uh, the Fountain area is right across the expressway from Fort Carson. And then if you get down towards the Pablo area, uh, you're, you're south of Fort Carson, so it's a little bit of a drive. So this has been the 719 Report brought to you by Hayes Property Group of Colorado Springs. Our contact information is below, but feel free to reach out to us anytime at 719-675-2000 or email at dan.hayes at kw.com. And we are on Facebook. Click the link below. We hope you have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.